Hello and welcome everyone, it's me Odo. Uh, we are back at our uh, Europa Universalis 4 campaign with Ethiopia. Uh, I'm trying out the new um, new software to um, to catch this um, this episode so it could be that it's not recorded. Uh, let's see. Yeah, last time we uh, did the war with Wasangali and its um, and its allies. We got a bit of money out of Ajuran. Next war we should get also some um, we should also get some uh, some land out of that. And we are now doing. Uh, we are doing our work on Maher Marehan, which we had a war, at, uh, which we had an alliance at the start of the game. Uh, I mean, we really want land from them. They are with. Um, they are allied with Arden and Machra, and with Arden we started a spy network. So when we have this um, this land claimed, Arden itself, Arid, hmm. there is nothing here that is interesting. But Arden has a port and this is good. We want Arden. Anyway, um, we will start a war with them when we have a claim on Arden. Where is Macha? I, I don't know. Oh, there is Macha. And then we go on this other side and then we have, uh, we have also land on two continents, which is one of the bonuses that we get. Present on two continents. We have a large city. Yay! Damut. Damut. Damut is, an, is our large city. Uh, we want them to become even larger because we want them to spawn the Renaissance. I believe it was not well chosen because it is arid and this gives us some penalty on on this. But anyway, we we're better off to to, to do this. Ah, we have the burgers still still the burgers are friendly towards us. Um yeah. Now it's five percent per click, but it's really expensive. It's really, really expensive to do this. Anyway, we will do it because now we started it and we have to do it. And the Renaissance will spawn only so slowly because it's here. This is the nearest point where the Renaissance is at the moment. Ah. There is no other place in the world that we know that the Ron Renaissance is around. And here it is not around. <laughs> it probably will start with the Mamluks, but if we spawn it here in Damut and it... Um, it comes around somewhere, somehow, <coughs> then from Damut it can 
spawn to these regions and afterwards to Gonda. Yeah, we will see. We will see. I really don't know if this is uh, intelligent what I did, but anyway, I'll, I'll do it anyway. So, yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, that was one really bad decision by me. Uh, we did take the peace offer while our troops were here in uh, in the lands of our march of Makuria and now we are not able to get back to our homeland so we probably need another another war to get them down yeah I really don't know Ah, stop, 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 stop. Uh, we have another... Let's put that to our outraged countries. Uh, why not? What about subjects? Nah, outraged countries. Our subjects love us anyway. Ajuran? No. Uh, why not? We can't declare war on them anyway in the near future. No, my spy master has died. So let's put the claim here. I put some other um fellows on the board here as well proof relations nah we have here level three diplomatic reputation guy but he's much too expensive for for us oh and this is level two three point four per month how much do we... Uh, this is... <coughs> this is slightly... Okay. Ah, yes. Why not? We can turn off the. We can turn off the force at the time, because we need to wait for Arden anyway. I also want to wait for some other things to happen. Also, we will put down the army maintenance to half. Marihan wants military access. They have a war with Yemen, Vasan, Gadi and Hadramot. Ah yes, of course. Go through my lens. I'd like to get you um to a spy network here as well.
Not stupid, sure. on Guardian Yemen. But Juran is not allied with them anymore. Or if they are, Vasangardi was not attacked. Probably. Ah uh, yes. Until 68, uh, we have a truce with Dongola, or else I would attack Dongola to get my troops down any any again, because we have a claim on Berber and on Dongola for our two for our two allies. We like to get Shendi for ourselves. And Ayuda will also go to one of my allies, of my vassals. So, do we have a... Why don't we have any prosperity? Do we lose prosperity when we are at war? That could be. I really don't know. Prosperity would be really good. Ah, it can only happen if we have positive stability. Ugh. We need positive stability. Yeah, this is the reason why we lost prosperity, not the war, but the stability loss. That's for sure. That's probably the reason. Ah, uh, yes. until the OV extension is gone, or at least nearly gone, and then we will raise the stability again. Yeah, first. The families left behind. Recent war took a heavy toll on our people. Many were called, few returned. Really? We weren't fighting that much. Before I do that, I just see. I want to do this click and this click. Else I forget it. Uh, of the ones who have time to think, many are increasingly thinking that we have been throwing away lives too carelessly. Ah, what, what, what's the matter with them? We won free lands in the last war and a lot of money. <coughs> Stupid. Ethiopia gets post-war tax relief. Minus 15% national tax modifier until 1471. Five years. Pfft. Ethiopia gets decreased drafting. National manpower minus 20% or we get national unrest. This is the price that must be paid for our glorious nation. Let us be more lenient, drafting for the army in the future. 
Hmm. I I really. Uh, I normally I'm not not a very ex aggressive player, but I saw this in other games and probably <laughs> this is not the best. Normally I would would tend to go to the minus twenty percent national manpower modifier, but um, I really don't know. But we need the money, and we don't need unrest. So we'll go with the manpower shortage anyway. Okay, we've gained the castle's belly against Arden. We can now start to do war on them. I mean the problem is we still have them here and I really don't know if we will get here through Arden or uh, here through the Mamluks or through Dongola. Hmm. This is rather risky. Also we have some problem with rebels here. We will have to increase autonomy. Really don't like this, but this must be done. So, Damot. Seventy six percent. Now we are at 87%. We have to click three times. Three times, then we've got the Renaissance in Damot. How about this? Uh, this will be gone soon. this again we could make a state here um, just better Everything else is already a state, I believe. Why do we leave? Ah! This is stupid. This is because we turned off the form. We have to turn this on. At least this will have to turn on. How about my four here? Yeah, it will be here soon. Soon it will be here. And after that, it will be fine. So, Hadija still doesn't like us. Um, why don't they like us? Because we enforced religion on them. Yes, of course. Um, oh, they have a better diplomatic technology than us. Hm. Yeah, of course. We use our technology to increase our uh, our Renaissance tech here. Hmm. Now 
enough. I don't want to give it there. There and four, or uh, yeah, it's more or less the same. Let's take El Boa. It's iron versus cows. Iron is better than cows. Also, from El Boa, we can go to the coast better. Because we have two possible, three possible coastlands bordering El Boer. Cattle, cattle, grain. Yeah. It's not great. Oh, but here is an estuary, a natural harbor. <laughs> So I really not I'm really not sure if we should declare war now. If we declared war on Arden and Mareha, I really am not sure if we would. Yeah, uh, why not? Make it a state, but don't core it. Positive stability plus 0.5 percent. Uh, we should try to get some of these states. Hmm. I mean, we could take this one. It's rather rather inexpensive but it takes some time, three years or something like that mm -hmm. ah, it's growing again yay we have a 60% chance should stay out of war at the time to consolidate a bit more <coughs> and to do the next war on Dongola first of all they have, n have no real um, they have no real allies I mean, Nashran is not really an ally. Second of all, we we are sure to get our army back. I mean, we only have to wait for one year. Truce will, will expire in one and a half year. Yeah, that's okay. We can wait for that. We can build a bit more of m more of the money, uh, so we will. Let's see who likes us and who doesn't like us. I mean, everyone doesn't like us. Hmm. Who will probably become an ally? Malindi wants to become an ally. Where is Malindi? 
Here is Molindi. Yeah, we want Molindi as an ally. That's good. Oh, do we want them as an ally? Yeah, we want Molindi as an ally. Probably we can vassalize them later on. We probably also want a second ally. Tripari. Oh, he did. Why is it negative? Oh, because of the rebellious attitude towards us. Okay, let's improve our relations with allies. We go to Malindi. Yeah. Okay. Masangali lost a bit in this war. No. Yeah. Okay, at this point, my dear friends, we will stop again and we will see each other, hopefully soon. Until then, I wish you the best. <coughs> Have a good night and sleep well. Until then. <coughs>